Hey what up, welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. In this one I'm going to teach you how to use Superbase and the basics of this database. To do that we'll be creating up this simple CRUD app that can create, read, update and delete data. So if you go to Superbase I'm going to create a new project and I'm just going to call it database tutorial. And let's just give it a password and select your region. Now you can see it's setting up the project now, so let's just wait for that. And once that's ready, go on the sidebar here to the table editor and let's create a new table. I'm just going to call it notes and I'm going to check off this row level security and let's enable this real time to get the changes. Now for the table, you can see it's got the ID and the created at timestamp. I'm going to add one more column and call it content. And let's just give it the text. And this is where the notes are going to be saved. So now let's come to our code and I've opened up a brand new Flutter project. And just to keep everyone on the same page, in my main function, I'm running my app, which is giving us a blank scaffold. So you should just have a white blank app like this. Now the first thing to do is I want you to open up the terminal and we're going to add in the package, Superbase Flutter. So make sure you did that. And let's just do some setting up. So I'm going to make the main function asynchronous. And we, if you start typing super base, you can see we can initialize and we have to specify two things. So the URL and the anon key. So if you come back to the project and you scroll down, you should be able to see this project API. And you've got these two things here. So make sure to copy them and paste it for the appropriate section here. So the URL and the anon key. And this is one thing I love about Superbase, which is the setup is really easy. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file called note.dart. And so we're gonna create a very basic CRUD app, which is essentially a notes app to teach you the basics of the database. So in our note class, we are going to have an ID and a string for the content. Now I'm going to write enough comments here to make it clear where you'll see these kind of things commonly in code, but I can explain it real quick. Converting from a map to an object like a note and vice versa. So if you don't know what a map is, this is what a map looks like. It's kind of got these fields. And so in our database, commonly it's going to be structured as a map. But then we need to convert it to a note to be able to use it in our, in our code and in our apps. So the first method here, I'm going to convert it from a map to a note. and then from a note to a map so that we can store it in database. So these are very common practice things to do. So let me know if you have any trouble on that. But now that we have a note class, the next thing I want to do is create a note database. In here, we're going to have firstly the database for our table of notes. So if you go to Superbase, instance client, we can go to our notes table. So the CRUD operations, if you don't know already, are create, read, update, and delete. So starting with a create note method, and it's really easy to put it in the database. So you just say database.insert, and we have to give it the new note. And we're going to convert it to our map so that it stores nicely in the database. And then when we need to read the information from the database, we're going to use a stream, which will provide us with the data in the style of a map. So let's convert it from a map to a list of notes.
And then we have update note. So for this, I just want to know what the old note is and then what is the new content that we need to update. So again, go to your database and the keyword here is update. And the field I want to update is just the content. And then we can say equals to the ID. This will make sure that it's updating the note for the appropriate one. And then finally, we have the delete note, which again, very easily just go to database. And the keyword here is delete, where the IDs are equal. Cool, and that's it for the database. Now I'm going to create a new file called note page. And it's just time for the fun part, which is the UI. So I'm just going to give it a simple app bar. And if you come back to our main.dart file, instead of the scaffold, let's bring in the notes page. Nice. So at the top, I'm going to firstly get our note database. And we need a text controller to access what the user typed. And so let's fill out these couple of methods. The user wants to add a new note. The user wants to update the note and the user wants to delete a note. And so we're just going to build a UI here and we have the app bar. And then now it's time for a button. So you can see there's a little button there. Now, when I click on this, we want to add a new note. And everything on this page has got to do with the UI. So I want to show a dialog that says new note. And let's give the method to this button. And so if I click on it, you can see it shows that little box. So now we can give it a text field so you can see the user can type stuff in. And the controller is going to allow us to access what the user typed. Now let's have some buttons. I need a cancel and a save button. When I hit the cancel button, I just want to pop this box and just clear the controller. We're going to do something similar for the save button, except when we save, I want to create a new note and give it what the user typed in. And then let's save it in our database. So we can say database and you can see there's our method create note. Cool, so if I save this and I try to add in a new note and I save it and then let's come back to our database and you can see there's the first note. So now I want to be able to read these notes. So what we're going to do is in the body of the scaffold, we're going to use a stream builder. And so the stream is going to listen to this one to build our UI. So we have two situations when it's loading and then when it's loaded. And then we can return it as a list of notes. So the item count is just however long the notes are. And then when we build it, let's, let's get each note and return it as a list tile UI. Cool, so if I save that, you can see there's our note. Now I'm going to add in a second note and you can see I can add and also read the notes. Cool. Now let's try to do the other things. So if you look at this trailing, I'm going to put in an icon button for the delete. And I actually want two icon buttons here. So let's just put it in a row. So one for the delete button and one for the update button. Nice. So when I click on these, we want to do some similar stuff with the dialog box. So starting with the update note, Let's pre-fill the text controller with the existing note. 
and then let's show our dialogue. Now it's going to be so similar to what we had before. So let's just copy that and just update it to be what we need to do. So everything is good except for the save button. What I want to do is just go to our note database and update the note. Cool. And then for deleting the note, let's do something similar. Cool, and I think it's ready. So let's give the methods to these buttons. And let's test this out. So if I want to delete, whoops, looks like we have a text field, which I don't think we need when we are deleting. So let's save that. And if I want to delete, yay, I can delete the notes. Now let's add a new note and let's see if we can update it. Cool, so you can see it's got that pre-filled information there and then we can update the note. Beautiful. So we made a very basic notes app using the CRUD operations. Hopefully that was helpful. I'm going to continue working with Superbase. So let me know if these videos are helpful. If you made it this far into the tutorial, just drop a purple heart in the comments just so I know. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.